All right, guys, Fula coming to you with another video, another commentary. This is just to show you that women, the Western woman will sell her soul for um, fame. She will sell her soul for likes. She will sell her soul for reactions. She will sell her soul just to stay relevant. Rather as opposed to the traditional woman who rather just live her life, live quietly, stay low key, stay out the way, can, can handle her business as a wife and a mother. Um, the wicked, the wicked witch of the West rather do all the opposite, you know, and in addition to doing this opposite, she, she likes to, um, involve others and corrupt people um and corrupt people corrupt other women in doing it and of course those are the you go girl women but let's get to it with miss jezebel Brittany renner Brittany Renner responds to critics in the way they view her. You can't turn a hoe into a housewife. You can't. I mean, that's just point blank period. Like, any woman who's been flipped around like so many times, you're not going to be able to reprogram her brain to um, basically, you know, accept being domestic like being domestic like being a domestic wife being a wife who is like doing the right thing and stuff like that we saw that with Karen Stephens you know you can't it, it can't be done you know you can't turn a you can't turn a like a you can't turn like a flip into a um into a like a a submissive woman you can't because what happens is if they become submissive, what happens is they're going to try to cause drama because of the simple fact they're so used to drama from being, um, you know, from being flips. Well, let's continue. Good. Because I'm both. Lord have mercy, you know. So, she said she is both, both a whole and a housewife. So what does that tell you then? What does that tell you? That means if you do marry a woman like this, or if you decide to commit to a woman like this, that means if you decide to spend money on a woman like this like for example you may be serious as the guy you may be serious you may be committed you may be trying to start something real but all the while she's still riding the cock carousel while you're investing into her who's to say that she wasn't even messing around when she was with pj washington who's to say you don't have to choose i thought you wanted me to be a little now she's doing that for um reactions and stuff like that but she looks freaking evil like i'm i'm gonna be honest with you she looks possessed like i'm dead serious it looks like some kind of like evil force just took over her snatched on her back i mean i i i will say it's it's a gin you know i i think it's a gin although there are good gins there are submissive gins but I think this, I think an evil gin just lasts on to her, for real. You know? Oh, that's no fun. I'm going to start calling people's opinions. Now, mind you, though, look at, you have to look at the signs, okay? You have to look at the signs of a woman who is basically going to self-destruct. Number one, all the tattoos she has, right? Number two, the black nail polish. Okay, look at those signs. 
of me fan theories because that's truly what they are. They are based in nothing but falsehood, rejections, and judgment. Not too. They are based in... I'm going to start calling people's opinions of me fan theories because that's truly what they are. They are based in nothing but falsehood. How how are they based in falsehood and how are they fan theories when you you showed your hand a long time ago? You said you have sex with an athlete because they don't like to use condoms. What did you do? You did just that. And you said, oh, you can use them to come up too. So how is it fan theories or how is it opinions when it's just facts projections and judgment not too much creativity put into that now i don't do apologies because i'm so not sorry you know even listening to this woman talks you got to protect your energy you know you you really got to protect your energy Typical Western wicked witch of the West. I'm I'm about to go a step further and say this is a wicked demon of the West. Um typical wicked demon of the West not taking accountability for things that she's causing. She says she's not sorry. You know, she's I I hate to jump this far, but she's borderline a sociopath. You know, she's borderline, like, she's treading that water. Like, honestly, she really is because she's doing this for views, right? She wants the views. She wants the attention. She wants people to say, you go, girl. She wants other women to follow suit who maybe haven't followed suit yet and who maybe, like, have the potential to be wives and be trained as wives so this is very very crazy and it's very very alarming you know and unfortunately people are going to watch it because social media is so vast and people can watch whatever they want you know everything is available um on social media to regret anything i've done is to regret the awareness that i've gained <sighs> I don't like the sound of that. If it taught me something, it made me better. The problem is, it's not making her better, it's making her worse. That's the thing. She's gonna look for another sucker. That's what it taught her. It taught her that you can finesse a man out of a baby Finesse them out of $200,000 a month for child support and lay up and put your feet up and be okay. And then on top of that, she's saying it's, it made her better because she knows now that unfortunately there is going to be another guy who wants to engage and who wants to have some of that because although I'm not attracted to her you know I'm not attracted to her she's not by any means like unattractive right but and and unfortunately guys fall for that many guys many simps don't look at the the I want to say the um they, they don't look past the physical right and then when you look at her it's just that uh, i i can you you just see evil the way she moves is almost like a damn serpent you know so why do i have to pacify a man to make you feel better because the difference between me and you is that i have more courage in my big toe than you do in your whole entire body. So, again, she, you know, the thing is about the Wicked Witch of the West, 
when she knows she did things wrong and when she knows she does like she's in the wrong what she'll do is she'll basically try to act like that you know that we're wrong you know the people who are like talking about her talking about her doing what she did and stuff like that and talking about how it was messed up she'll act like we're wrong but the reality is that she is the one who's at fault for doing what she did you know that's what that's what she does you know that's the game plan with her right so um basically when she says she has more courage in her big toe it means that she has no shame basically and that the people who maybe are looking at this have shame and have some kind of like dignity you know what i mean um i've done videos in the past about my tribe's code of conduct called pulaku and um i mean i i, I mean i can't really go into it but i can tell you that like for the most part um dudes dudes um and women in my tribe have a lot of shame to the point that you know i i remember um visiting i was visiting cameroon uh for a little bit it was like a layover i remember being in cameroon and one person from my tribe who was still uh nomadic he he practiced so much pulaku that he didn't even let people see his um like he didn't even let people see him with his wife at the marketplace he went he went home first and then she or actually i think she went home first and then he uh came back you know and i'm i'm just saying that's how much pulaku that he had um another thing too about pulaku is that you, you it'll be a while until you know when a woman is pregnant you know what i mean because they they don't reveal it you know and part of that is shame you know part of that is just modesty part of that is just being you know being being discreet about these personal affairs but the thing is she has no shame at all and anything that i say is telling the truth anything i say that scares someone off i'm glad because that's one less coward to waste my f***ing time what she means by that is that um translate let's translate this what she means by that is anybody who can see through this crap and is turned off by it and walks away it means that um it means that that person has um all their senses however if any man especially the beta male beta male simp buys into this he becomes praiseworthy in her eyes but in reality she she looks at him like a trash bye bye i stand on everything i said i stand on everything i did yeah, you know, man, and and the thing is, that this is where a lot of the wicked witches of the West West are heading. Like, you just gotta look on TikTok. You just gotta look on all these social media outlets, um, and um, and look at how things are going. You know, unfortunately, you know, I I was I in in fact I met Karen Civil. Um, uh, Nip introduced me to her one time and, you know, I thought she was just really honestly a hustler, but, you know, um, even her Haitian background could not save her from 
the conniving ways of the wicked witch of the West. And, you know, she it now is coming to surface that she finessed a lot of people, you know, she finessed a lot of people. This is now blowing up all over the place on Twitter. And if it doesn't work for you, then you don't work for me. Because I don't know why. Who are you? You only lie when you're afraid. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Who are you to me? What's crazy? You don't lie when you're afraid. You lie when you're basically sometimes trying to save face. Like a lot of these women lie a lot of the times. Like, for example, a lot of these women will lie about their body counts, okay? They'll be like, well, you know, I only was with four guys. It's been like five years since I've been with a guy and stuff like that. They're lying because they have shame. That's why. They're lying because they're ashamed. You don't necessarily lie when you're afraid. You know what I mean? Because the, the only people who are afraid when they lie is like uh, when it comes towards the women is when it's like a beta male. Like a, a beta male will, if a woman says, yeah, do I look fat? And a beta male will be like, nah, you don't. But a real one will say like, you'll, you, a real one will say, well, there's work to be done, you know? There's work to be done. You're not skinny. You know what I mean? So, or he'll say, well, what do you think? Do you think you look fat? Yeah, answer the question with the question. There's a lot of y'all in relationships that are being miserable. And the only reason you're still in a relationship is because you tolerated being cheated on and mistreated. Let's get well, this can be taken in twofold. She could be talking about women, you know, the Western woman who decides to stay in a relationship uh, for uh, monetary benefits or she stays in the relationship because um, Daquan is alpha, right? And he has a lot of women and she's in hopes that Daquan will settle down with her. She could be talking about a woman. But she could be talking about men too, right? I really don't know, but she could be talking about it also could be men that she's mentioning right but at the same time she didn't even try to make her relationship work she just had that kid and that boom it was over her relationship wasn't even based on like right treatment or anything like that her relationship was based on I got him and I got a kid from him, which means I got a check from him. It wasn't even based on the thing she's talking about right now. Into it. A lot of you don't have the courage to leave something that's comfortable, something that looks good because the unknown terrifies you. Now, in, in, in that in that case, um, that can be looked at as a universal thing, like getting out of your comfort zone. In that case, that could be looked at in that way. Yes. Sometimes you do need to leave the comfort zone so you can see what you're really made of. Yes. But in her case, basically, what she's actually saying is that in in other words she's trying to tell you that if you do have like a if you're in a chill relationship or if you're with well, let's say if you're married right in essence she's telling you that you know 
why not explore what's out there? You know, why not explore uh, the cock carousel and possible uh, child support checks? That's what she's kind of telling you with that. I was there once. So it's no judgment. The right people will gravitate towards you. And it's just better to own your truth and see who's meant to be around. Because, sweetie, this ship is sailing. So um, So let's look at it, man. Her truth is cock carousels. Um, child support checks. Flaunting it on social media. Saying outlandish things for attention. Doing outlandish things for attention. And trying to trap other people into what PJ Washington got trapped into. That's her truth. There isn't anything morally upright about it. You want to jump overboard? If you want to steer clear, please leave me alone. I do not have time to waste. <laughs> And I'm not like these other bitches that will just accept your crumbs. I need the whole loaf. Yeah, she looks possessed, man. And what she's telling you basically is that if you don't come with a bag, then get the hell out of the way. That's what she's really telling you. Like, it's crazy. She was in Kevin Gates' life the, the last night. Like when Kevin Gates had a life, she was in there lurking. And I'm like, damn, she's on the prowl like this. So she's looking for another victim, man, for real. I mean, I hate to say it, but there was this one video model named Karen Steffens and they called her Superhead. You know, um, it looks like that she may be part two, you know? Because when she says she doesn't want crumbs, in essence, what she's saying is that, you know, six figures may not even be enough anymore for her. She may be trying to get M's now. The whole motherfucking thing. And if that makes me the wicked witch of the ground. Uh, the wicked witch of the West, basically, like the rest of these Western women. Start a documentary. Call it Surviving Britney Runner. I want to find it. I need a good laugh. That would be a hell of a documentary if someone did that. Um, but, I mean, you could make a documentary... You know what? She kind of just lightweight sparked something in me. She lightweight sparked something in me. I may just mess around and do like an edit of the Wicked Witch of the West. I may, I, I may say like Fool of Sports presents the Wicked Witch of the West in her ways. I, I may just do that. She kind of gave me an idea, you know, because at this point, it's out of hand. It is really out of hand right now. But um, there you have it, man. She It looks like she's not going to stop. It really doesn't look like she's going to stop, man. But with that being said, uh, leave your thoughts and leave your comments. Fool is signing out. Njarama. <laughs>